guys welcome back to my channel today I've partnered with Kroger to bring you this delicious dish of steamed cabbage and carrots this is a quick and easy side dish that's typically eaten with stews the first thing I'm gonna do is head to my local Kroger and straight to the produce section what I love about Kroger is their amazing selection and it is so affordable as you can see everything is so fresh and just vibrant I absolutely love that there's no excuse not to eat healthy because Kroger makes it easy and accessible. Now I'm gonna grab what I need for the dish. I'm gonna grab a head of cabbage, carrots, head back home, straight to my kitchen and get started. Here are the ingredients that you're gonna need. I'm just gonna take a simple dish and elevate it. And all you need is just a few key ingredients like chicken broth, garlic and onions. It's gonna make it absolutely delicious. Now the first step is to remove the outer leaves from the cabbage. Once I remove the leaves, I'm going to cut the cabbage in half. And I'm only using half because this makes plenty for my family of four. So now that I've cut this straight down the middle, I am going to go ahead and remove that hard core. Now that's not something that you want in the dish, so just give it a slice on both sides and it should pop right out. Next, I'm gonna cut this in half and then I'm gonna go ahead and slice the cabbage. And I like my cabbage to be sliced fairly thin. Now that I've chopped the cabbage, I'm gonna take this and place it into a bowl and then take it over to the sink and give it a good rinse. This is a super easy way to incorporate vegetables into your meals. I typically like to serve vegetables with all of our meals. Next, I am cutting off the ends of the carrots and I am peeling it before grating it. And I'm using the large side of the box grater. Next, I'm gonna peel garlic and ginger and this is important because these two ingredients will add a lot of flavor to this dish. Now that we have all of our ingredients prepped, it's time to get cooking. To a pan over medium heat, I'm gonna add olive oil. Once the oil is hot, I'm gonna add thinly sliced onions. And the full recipe will be linked below in the description box and it will include measurements and step-by-step -step directions. Now I'm adding the ginger and garlic and I'm just going to let that cook for about 30 seconds just until it becomes fragrant. Now I'm going to add the finely chopped cabbage and the shredded carrots to the pot. I love how vibrant this dish is. I must confess I am a lover of vegetables. And my ultimate goal is one day be able to pass that love onto my children. So I try to find ways to make it delicious and just dishes that I think that they would be willing to try. Next, I'm going to add salt and black pepper to this dish and a splash of chicken broth. Now the chicken broth gives it a ton of flavor. Now if you want to make this dish vegetarian or vegan, of course you can leave the chicken broth out. You can just simply steam it or you can use vegetable broth instead. Now I'm going to give it a good stir and let this cook for just a few minutes until the cabbage begins to wilt. You don't want to overcook the vegetables, you still need to have a little bit of a bite. And that's it, it could not be easier and I promise you will absolutely love it. Thank you for joining me and thank you to Kroger for sponsoring this video. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.